everybody, Gary here with Guitar Tricks, and in this video we're going to go over how to get a really smooth and effortless sounding and feeling strum going with your right hand. So we're not going to go over strumming patterns, we're just going to go over the essentials of the right hand, how we're holding the pick, how we're moving our hand, basically what you need to do with your right hand to make every strum pattern sound good and to also make it easy for you to just pick up any strumming pattern and be able to play it. Before we get into the lesson, please go ahead and click subscribe so that you get all the latest and greatest content from Guitar Tricks. And if you wanna get notified of any new lesson, be sure to also tap the bell. All right, so it all starts with the pick. You wanna make sure you have the right kind of pick for strumming and that you're holding it correctly. So the right kind, I recommend you just get the standard teardrop size pick. That's what I have here. And then the thickness, you want either a medium or a thin. I definitely recommend a medium because a thin, although it'll be easy to get a smooth sound, it's hard to get good dynamics. And dynamics in music just means a variation in volume. And that is very hard with a thin because it, even when you dig in, it's so soft it just flops over the strings. Whereas a medium, it's soft enough to get a nice soft smooth sound, but to dig in when you wanna get a little louder. So. That's what I recommend. A heavy is really not good for strumming because it's gonna be hard to get that smooth, soft sound, and it's just gonna be a little harsh sounding. Okay, so we've got our teardrop size medium pick, and then we're gonna give a thumbs up, and we're gonna take that pick and just put it to the pad of our thumb so that the point of it goes out the side like this, right? Okay, so we've got that. Then we just wanna take the index finger and make an okay sign like this, all right? So the index finger is coming to the bottom edge of the pick, and the thumb is coming to the top edge of the pick. And that creates a little vice. And we want that vice because it gives us good control. We can go, you know, really control the pick in our fingers. And if it starts to shift one way or the other, the tip of the thumb or the first finger will prevent it from falling out of your hand. So we've got that. And then what's also good about this point is that it allows us to keep our hand parallel and relaxed and in a neutral position so that it just points out the side into the strings instead of like this, right? We don't want that and we also don't want something like that. We wanna just have it nice and neutral. So once we get that okay sign, we just relax the hand and then we're holding it so loose that anyone could really just pull it out of our hands without us even realizing. So. That's something, as you get more experience, you're gonna be able to really loosen up on the pick and hold it so loose and still have control. So part of having a really fast and easy strumming technique is this, everything's loose. The way I'm holding the pick, the way my hand is moving. So the more you do it, the more you're gonna get control over the pick so that you could loosen up. See, when I hold it really loose, if I just take, let's say, an E minor chord, and I'll show you how to play that, I'll put a graphic. If I hold it really loose, you see how smooth it sounds? If I hold it tight, it's harsh, right? See, it's nice and soft. And if I wanna get louder, I just go a little harder with my motion. I don't really ever tighten up on the pick. I always want that smooth sound by holding it loose. All right, so then once we have that together, now how do we actually attack the strings, right? How do we get this smooth up and down? So I always like to say that strumming is like you washed your hands and there's no paper towels in the bathroom and you just gotta wring out the water off your hands, right? You wouldn't karate chop the water off. You would really just kinda with a very loose, no muscle tension, <laughs> kind of a wrist and hand, you would do that, right? That's the best way to get the water off. Or it's like you fell asleep on your hand and it's totally, you have no control over it. It's just totally dead. Okay, so when you go down, you drop it down and you flick the water to the floor. When you go up, you flick the water onto your face, like that. So the motion down, if I take that E minor and up, in that water. Now as you can see, it's the motion is not from the arm, it's mostly from the wrist with a little support from the, from the arm just to get it going, right? 
So it's just a little support from the arm, but it's mostly all in the wrist. So taking that E minor, just going up and down. And from the side view. See? And it follows a bit of a of a a radius, a trajectory, right? It's it's not straight up and down like this. It's a bit of a curvature that happens with the strings in the middle, right? So my hands really loose, shaking the water off, shaking it up. Okay, now if you're really having trouble, a lot of times I'll tell a beginner, hold your hand in place, hold your arm in place here, and try to do the shaking the water, right? Just to help train yourself to not do it like this. The other thing is my hand is not floating, my arm's not floating. I do have it kind of planted right here on the guitar, whether it's an electric or an acoustic. So this part's planted. And then here it starts to have a gap, but no gap right there. And this really just gives me a good foundation where it's not floating in nowhere's land, right? All right, then the last thing is that for great strumming to keep good timing, you're gonna keep a constant pendulum of the wrist. So you're always going up and down, it never stops. So watch, no matter what strum pattern I play, you're gonna see a constant up and down, even when there's gaps in the sound. So I'm going to take that E minor and just play a series of strum patterns. If you had muted the video, it would look like this. Always. It would always just be a constant down up. I just select when to not hit the strings and when to hit them. I call that ghosting. When do I ghost and when do I let the strings ring out? So that's really the basics of great strumming technique. So work on that. Just experiment with going crazy on a E minor chord or even on the open strings, sometimes I like to just mute the strings and do it like that. And then once you feel really comfortable with that, we have a couple other YouTube videos on specific strum patterns. And if you want to learn more about strumming, beginner guitar technique, head over to guitartricks.com. Have fun with this, happy playing, and we'll see you in the next lesson.